Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. In this one, the project we're going to review is called Vizar. Uh, this is a 100% free uh, PvP game that you can play on your mobile devices or on the computer. And very soon it will be available on the uh, Apple App Store uh, and on the for the Mac as well. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this game. We're going to play the game itself. We're going to talk about their token, their NFTs, their different ways through which we can earn money in this game. So um, it will be a complete review. So it'll be a complete review of it. Uh, if you're interested, make sure that you keep on watching. I'll give you guys all the links that will be in the description. So make sure that you use that to check out this project, which I think uh, has a good potential and it has a lot of different ways through which we can earn. So <clears throat> but as always, anything that I'm going to say in this video is not going to be an investment or a financial advice. So always do your own investigation and research. And with this out of the way, let's get right into it. Now, here we are at the official website of Vizar. First of all, we're going to have a proper introduction on what Vizar actually is, what type of game this is, how we can play it, um, what is required to play this game, uh, and we're going to talk about multiple ways through which we can earn. So starting off with the introduction on what Vizar is. Uh, as I said in the introduction, uh, this is a player versus player game, um, which is 100% free. We're going to play the game itself. You have the option to download it, uh, whether you want to play it on your mobile device or on Windows. So you will have both of the options right here. Uh, it has a, a built-in uh, play and earn mechanism. That means you play the game and while you're playing, you earn. They have their own native token called Skrull token, S-C-R-L. Uh, they also have their native um, NFTs, their own NFTs, which include wizards uh, as characters. And also we have lands. We have breeding system in this. Um, we also were going to talk about the tournaments uh, also and uh, other features. Now, we have some features available. Uh, and uh, since this project is currently developing, uh, actually, this is, this project was brought to us um, during the most harshest period uh, in crypto uh, back in last year. Uh, but it's, it survived that period. And up, up till now, it has survived. And we have a working game available to us. And uh, But still, there's a lot of features that will be coming in the future uh, of this project, of this whole platform, of this whole game. So in that, you know, from when we talk about the investor perspective, from an investor point of view, um, this is an ideal project, an ideal platform that has proved to be, you know, competent enough to develop the game that is interesting. Uh, they're fulfilling everything that they're promising and um, with, you know, over time, the value of their assets, whether it is token, whether it is NFTs, or whether their rewards the people are receiving, they will continue to grow further and further. So in that capacity, I think this is a perfect opportunity. So as I said, this is a player versus player game that is 100% free, which has an inbuilt um, play and earn mechanism. In this game, we have wizards, which you can see right here. Um, we have different types of wizards, uh, which I'll, I'll show you guys right now. So uh, these are the different types of wizards that we have. They come with their own attributes. Uh, you can upgrade them. You can level them up. Uh, of course, you require their token in order to do that. Um, you uh, you train you know their their skills, the characters that you have, and uh, you get more and more wizards. Then there are also you know lands, which I'll show you guys that as well. This is the breeding system, which I'll show you guys. But before we talk about the breeding or summoning mechanism, we need to know about the character and the NFT lands because we use both of these uh, in order to breed. So we have NFT lands, which are valuable. Now, one interesting thing here is the team has never minted a single uh, NFT character. Uh, they have never minted the uh, the wizards that we have. So it is completely up to the community uh, who are doing this. So we have NFT lands. Again, there's different types of NFT lands that we have with different attributes uh, and different coordinates. Uh, and the, um, they come with different rarity. Uh, so the more rare they are, the more valuable they will be. 
So when you talk about the summoning mechanism, which is uh, in, you know, the, its complete name is Ritual of Summoning, in which we summon a new wizard, a new character. What we need to do that is we need two wizards, which is right here, and we need one NFT land, which will, which will act as a portal. When you have this and you are doing the Ritual of Summoning, uh, it will, first of all, in 72 hours, it'll take uh, a form of elemental, which you, we can see right here. And um, afterwards, you can see it forms a new character which has attributes, which has features from both the wizards that were used during the summoning. Uh, and that's how a new wizard is minted. It is created. And this is where the characters and the uh, lands, uh, NFT land, come into use. Now, there's other use for this, of course. We can use the characters to take part in tournaments. We can earn rewards from there. We also have this um, staking tree, in a sense, um, which I'll show you guys right now. Then we also have staking map and other functions. So if you open up the, their map, um, when we, which I'm, I'll connect my wallet here, uh, it'll show us different challenges and we win rewards uh, for completing those challenges. Uh, we, have, we have, you know, marketplace uh, in which we can trade with other players. Uh, we can trade other characters and uh, NFTs. Then we have a staking map uh, in which we stake and we get exciting rewards, different ingredients and so forth. We have options for NFT staking as well. Um, then we have the option for summoning. This is where we summon. Uh, and we have the option to buy the scroll token, which is the native token. And uh, we can use um, credit card for this to buy the assets, which makes things a lot easier. Um, now, it says how you can win NFT wizards. So you join the tournament of house on their Discord, which I'll link in the description you participate in the twitter giveaway again i'll link the twitter in the description and you stay tuned for more opportunities you can buy a scroll with zero percent fee for limited time now we have other option uh, we can check out the scroll um token on the coin gecko and coin market cap it is it is listed on both of those places so in terms of legitimacy um and credibility this is a completely secure uh credible and legit project so there's nothing to worry about uh, in this one so we can take a look at the the prices and the market cap and so forth you can see the market cap so far is is not really huge it is still um if we talk about you know the potential of this project the market cap is still i would consider a, as a micro cap so that shows that it has a decent margin of profit it can go really really up when there's more and more adoption more people are playing this game so it has a lot of room to grow and that is a perfect opportunity for investors. Now, if you take a look at the game itself, um, you can easily download it. Uh, I downloaded it on Windows. It will be available for the Mac and also for the iOS as well. Um, I'll use the guest profile and we'll click on play. Now, this is how it looks like. You can see it is very, very solid, um, which makes it really amazing. So we have the option for quick play. Then we have ranked that is coming soon, which will be more and more competitive. Um, the win of the day is 500 plus uh, experience points we can play with friends um this shows the complete tutorial and we get 100 plus uh experience points for this and uh we can you know we can choose our destiny from here on where we want to go in the settings, we, uh, we probably get get some basic settings for audio and uh, other stuff um we can also log out from here now this shows my wizard team and you can also currently it's locked but you can form up new teams which you'll be using uh in the games and also in the tournaments um and uh, you can use them to earn you rewards in different ways and there will be more and more opportunities in different ways for us to earn uh through these characters and nft lands uh and also their token in the future but these are the key to unlock rewards whatever this project or this platform has to offer now when you click on play uh, currently it is looking for opponent uh, the tip is during em uh, missing spells are temporarily replaced with another keeping same category element now currently kind of like people are testing it out um, it is only available on the uh, google play store and for the um it is only available on the google play store and also for the for windows so there's still a lot of players uh, that does not know about this game uh, but very soon this is going to change now currently it's taking a lot of time to uh, pick opponents so we'll take a look at other stuff now this is the staking map that we have um uh, it says all staked scroll can be taken back anytime by clicking on the reduce button 
uh, each 100,000 gives one work point. Uh, every shrine has a separate work points collection. These points are used to get rewards. The stake amount always remain 100,000 scroll and uh, the refundable amount of scroll corresponds to the staked amount. We can read more uh, about it from here. Now, before the, you know, the play and earn is introduced uh, in the game, um, we have different options through which we can earn. One of this is um, by participating in quests and challenges um, that are listed on their app, which I have open right now. So when you connect your wallet, this is where you can check out the challenges in the quest. So currently, I'm connecting my MetaMask wallet um, uh, using the Binance Smart Chain Network. Now, once it is connected, uh, you can see I have the challenges uh, available. Uh, when you click on it, these are the contests uh, that are in progress. So uh, these are the terms of wizards defeated only quick play counts scroll spin. So in this, you can get the information about the quests. Now, this is where you get to see all the challenges, uh, instructions, the rewards that are given. Um, when it is, When is it going to end? Uh, what are the terms in this? Um, and it, when you fulfill all this, um, you know, when you all the requirements uh, are finished, uh, which shows the list right here. Wizards that are defeated zero out of one thousand because I haven't played so far. Uh, scrolls spent zero out of zero out of seven hundred thousand and summon wizards zero out of ten. When you complete these, um, you can you get the claim button right here. Uh, so this this one is in progress. Um, so these are basically in progress that we have right now. So you can win through this. You do the challenges, you do the quest, and you win. You earn rewards. Um, Moreover, we have uh, incoming tournaments uh, in which you can earn rewards. Um, you can sell items on the NFT marketplace. That is also another place to which you can earn because when this becomes more and more popular, you can sell the assets for more value. Um, you can participate in giveaways on social media, which will be linked in the description. Uh, and you can also participate in the uh, live stream giveaways. So these are the places that we have um, to which you can earn right now before the play and earn mechanism is introduced. So already before even the play and earn function is you know um, inserted injected we still have a lot of ways through which we can earn now this is their white paper which will have complete information about every aspect of the game of the whole platform uh, so we have the table of content uh, anything that you need uh, any information uh, that will be right here so if you want to know about the um, you know how is it free to play the player run mechanism, um, token information that includes token allocation, uh, the release schedule, um, uh, information about the treasury, about the token staking, and then different assets that we have. Uh, so all that will be in this uh, in this white paper, which is available on their website. You can simply click on check white paper and it will take you to there. Or you can simply click on this right here. And how you can buy it is through, uh, we have the option to buy it on the pancake swap. So when you click on the buy token right here, uh, it'll take you to PancakeSwap. Click on I understand, then import. Now this is where you connect your wallet, which has the Binance Smart Chain Network, uh, and you have BNB in it because you'll be swapping it, or you can use other currencies. You can use BRC, um, and you'll be swapping that to get a scroll token. So uh, how you buy it is pretty straightforward. It's not really complicated. And here it explains how you can buy it. So the pancake swap is not the only way through which you can get these tokens. Uh, we have different ways that, that we have right here. Uh, so we can use bank card. Uh, we can use we can buy it from the exchange uh, from pancake swap or Betro. We can trade. Uh, you know we can trade it on the uh, marketplace if someone is selling it. We can buy it from them, uh, or we can um, win in the game, which will be available soon. The player and mechanism will be injected into the system soon. Now. Here's the option through which you can purchase um, a scroll token through your bank card using USD. So for uh, right now, it has about $30. For $30, this is the amount that you get, which is massive. But afterwards, when it becomes more and more valuable, you'll be getting lesser and lesser tokens for more dollars. So right now, we have the amazing opportunity um, to buy it when it is cheaper. So you can simply click on the buy now here. Uh, it is supported by Visa. So uh, you'll be putting in your phone number and other information that you do when you are adding a bank card, uh, which will be straightforward and you can buy it through that. So there we have it. Uh, this was the complete review. I hope you liked it. Uh, and if you did, make sure that you give the video a like, share it with your friends. Uh, and I'll really appreciate if you can uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video shortly. So stay tuned.